thank you very much sir, for allowing me to interview you. Uh, and we can, uh, Mr. Monde Tom, that the chief administrator of uh, Limbo Provincial Government. Thank you very much for the opportunity again. Uh, we can get right straight to in, into it. The first question is, how long do you think it would take the intervention team to get the province ready to run by itself? Yeah. I remember that the, the intervention itself, um, uh, when it will actually come to to terminate it, yeah, it's, the national government will determine that. Uh, but, however, you will, um, that that decision will also be based on the progress that is actually been made uh, in actually making sure that, that uh, the systemic challenges that uh, brought the intervention here uh, to a greater extent they will be they will be addressed. Now, um, and you will see that, that the. The intervention is at a stage now where it actually is at a recovery stage, where it has actually identified certain uh, areas that needs to be uh, put right. So, and then some of those areas you'll find that uh, are things that need to be done in the short term, right? um, and others they may be in the medium term. Right? Um, and 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 in between those, right? You, when it is clear to the decision makers, they'll be able to say yes. That short term, right, is the target that we we wanted to achieve, right? right. And then uh, from there, they may actually be a, make a call. Right. Okay. Would you say you are more than halfway there? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Oh, okay. Right. So there is significant yeah. over the last. A, a, a lot of uh, progress has been made, right? Okay. A lot of progress has been made, um, and 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 uh, in the SCOF, I don't know whether you did uh, attend the SCOF. Yes, right? yes, if you, if you have not, yes, please do do, uh, do that. You will actually see that, that, in terms of um, the systemic challenges that were identified. Right, yeah. you'll see that, that uh, there, there's a lot of uh, ground that has been covered. Okay, then uh, which departments have shown the, the most improvements and which have shown the least of the five departments that uh, the no. team is under uh, current level? Because remember that the, 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 the levels of complexities are different, so it's difficult to say this one is better than that one, right? Because complexities are not the same. I mean, if you, if you take the Department of Education and the Department of Health, right, they have done a lot of work, but however, there's still a lot to be done, right? Oh, okay. And it doesn't mean that, that um, they are sitting in their laurels and nothing is That's happening, right? No. Okay. Then, uh, of the things that you, your team uncovered, how big a part did political interference play in the things that they uncovered? Uh, of course, we do interact with, uh, if, if by uh, political interference, uh, we do interact with the local politicians in terms of what is it that is being done, right, in terms of the projects, okay. right, that needs to be put right, right. We do talk about that, and they are aware of those issues. I'm talking about the MECs in the various departments. Oh, okay. that are affected. They are clear about those things. Okay. Right? Now, uh, but of course, uh, where it, there are instances where um, some of the things that uh, were discovered, right, you need to have disciplinary actions against uh, some of those officials, right. There in that area, it's an area that we have not moved, right. Uh, to a greater extent as we would have loved. Mm -hmm. And here I'm talking about the senior uh, officials. officials, right, than, than uh, other uh, levels. Right. Then w uh, with political interference, were there any 
were there any signs that the was when things were going wrong there was political interference by the political heads no i i, I don't want to to actually to make to make that uh, comment here because uh, that 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 is something that um, um, you can interact with your last name uh, with the the IMC right themselves. Uh, yeah. You will find an opportunity to interact with them, right? Uh, as politicians, then they will be able to talk to and so. Also, they are taking into confidence with whatever findings you have. Uh, IMC will take them into confidence uh, with everything that we do. Okay. Uh, this is a wide question. Are Limpopo taxpayers getting their money's worth from this government right now, currently? I believe so. I believe so, right? I really believe that uh, this exercise of the intervention, right, um, at whatever time that it is actually uh, uh, called off, right, we believe that, that the amount of work that has been done, right, it will actually put this province uh, in a good state, right, because there, there are real systems that were just collapsed. Right? Now, of course, if they are put right, they, surely they should actually have a real effect to the, uh, the delivery of services. Okay. Thank you very much. Then the last question is about the uh, three or three cases that the DBSA uh, reported about yesterday. Uh, what are the types of cases? Are we talking about fraud and corruption uh, or are the more serious Damn ones than that? Remember that within that uh, three or three cases that the uh, they mentioned, right? There were about 38 criminal cases, okay. right? That we handed over to the to the, to the hawks. Oh, to the right. hawks. Yes, that's right. And um, and and so they are. Those cases that are criminal and others, they may be a maladministration, right? Uh, it's a mixed bag. Mm. And some of them, they may just be the conflict of interest, right? right. So it's a mixed bag that is there, right? Mm -hmm. And even that, it will go, uh, you can sp even split that in terms of uh, the categories of uh, uh, people, people, right? In terms of um, uh, staff. So you can say this is the category of uh, senior people, this is the category of other people. Yes. Right, that's right. Okay. Then, uh, still on the on, on the same cases, uh, are there more cases that are still being referred to the SIU in oh, the works, yes, or yes. are you done? All the, no, no, all, 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 the, all the time, right? So remember that we work with the we we work with the with the, with the with the SIU, right? Okay. And then themselves, um, SIUs, they they do their part, and some of these cases they will then refer them. For criminal cases, because criminal cases will go to the police, right? Yeah. SIU just deals with the civil cases. Okay. Then the, the very last one. I, how, uh, are you in a position to estimate how long? You mentioned yesterday during the the, the committee meeting that the province is not ready yet, and the the, the premier and the DG said it was ready. Are you in a position to to say how, how much would you is how long would you estimate? How much you seen that right now within one and a half year you, you've come more than halfway how much would you estimate uh, the, the the length of time the team can still be in the province no, but, but i've made that point about when the intervention could come to an end right yeah, uh, okay. earlier on yeah. right but but um the 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 local uh, uh, leadership in the in the administration right the dg and the uh, premier right they may be having their own views, right? Yeah. And, and I don't want to comment on their views. Okay, no. thank you very much, sir. Right. I appreciate thank it. You very much. Mr. Mondetom, Chief Administrator, Provincial Government.